uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video what we are going to do is let's try to understand queue and linked list using javascript functions okay so javascript functions are nothing but uh, we will write up pure functions and we'll see can we implement it with some javascript features okay so queue queue we already talked about it like uh, it is first in first out whatever is getting inserted will be dequeued first so there are two operations nq and dq there may be another like peak or uh, check empty and all the other methods we are not talking about it basic implementation is doing a push and doing a pop in terms of stack that is nq and dq so nq means you are adding an element dq means whatever you inserted first that need to be removed first right so we can use a shift method of array so in the queue function we have elements array when you are adding the elements we are doing a shift we are doing a push which will keep adding the elements and whenever you wanted to dequeue that element you just do a dot shift it will remove the elements from the front okay so in stack we were doing a push pop in queue we are doing a push and shift right basic data structure with javascript everything can be done simply right so with the help of this push and shift we are able to achieve the fifo first in first out whatever you are inserting first in the array that will be popped that will be removed or that will be dequeued same in the same pattern if we talk about linked list linked list is also same what we have is we just need to have a single node okay single node will have a next and actual data content data it means the value inside a node okay so initially we initialized had with null now whenever you are adding a new element to the linked list like you are inserting a new node to a linked list then it will contain some value okay and next will initially will be null right so if this dot had then you will dot uh, you will assign this dot had to node otherwise uh, current equal to this dot had while current dot next is there keep traversing and current dot next equal to node right so when you are inserting a new element what you are checking if this dot head is not there i mean you are inserting the first node then head will become that node itself otherwise what you will do is current equal to this dot head and you will traverse until you keep getting the next references current dot next and then finally once you reach to the end of the linked list like you have already inserted three nodes then you will iterate till third node and then you will assign current dot next equal to the node it just uh, we just need to assign the node only and node will contains the value and next null okay because what you are inserting in the linked list will have next null because uh, you insert first element second element third element now you are inserting fourth element so what you will do is the the third element next will point to the fourth element which you are going to insert but the fourth element next will be null okay so you can see a simple example is doing dot push this is the fresh node we are creating next will be null because this is the the last node you are inserting okay if your linked list is purely empty then just assign had to this node okay otherwise what we are doing current equal to this dot head and then we are just keep checking what we keep checking is uh, if current dot next we keep getting then current equal to current dot next and finally once we reach to the end of linked list current dot next equal to no okay so basic uh, basic implementation of a linked list and queue using simple functions okay we will extend this example we will also write it with the classes and there we will understand more about linked list linked list node because linked list node can be a simple object which will have a link to a next node and the value what contained what value it is holding with it okay and simple stack stack we already talked in javascript it's just a push pop like q is uh, push and shift push pop works fine and it is implementing the same strategy uh, which is last in first out so whatever you are inserting last like 10 so you are inserting 10 after 5 when you do a pop first 10 will be removed and then 5 will be removed okay now i hope we got a uh, understanding about stack queue and linked list together now what we will do is we'll start mixing up these things together to write our code okay what we will do is we are not go just 
talking in terms of data structure because while interview you will face a small problems like uh, write check anagram using stack or reverse a string or remove the duplicates from array write a recursion function to iterate some elements okay write a simple functions in terms of linked list implement the implement the tree tree traversal implement the linked list traversal using javascript okay these questions we will cover now that will give you a more confidence about uh, interview coding questions.